of course, I was uh, I was really happy to be uh, drafted by uh, the Red Wings. A uh, little shocked, uh, but uh, my type of play uh, play style is um, I would say I'm a skilled center uh, who can read a game very well. Uh, yeah, and uh, of course I have some things I can improve, but uh, I want to be a complete center uh, who you can trust in all uh, all of the zones. Thank you. Our next question will be from Helene St. James with the Detroit Free Press. Hey, Theodore, uh, what do you feel you need to work on in order to kind of take the next step and maybe start playing in the men's league? Uh, as I said, I want to be a complete center, and uh, if you want to be to play center, uh, you have to uh, have to play in the D zone and be good there. Uh, so I would say the the D zone uh, game and uh, and uh, my first step in my skating as well. Thank you. Our next question will be from Max Boltman with the Athletic. Hey, Theodore, how are you doing? Um, I'm just curious. You missed the whole 2018-19 season. What was it like to kind of come back from that injury, and um, how do you feel now? Um, I I feel really really good now. Uh, I mean, uh, the injury doesn't bother me now. Uh, of course, the uh, the start of the last season was a little special because I, I didn't know what what to expect for myself. Uh, but I think the season went uh, really well and. Uh, but I feel much stronger now, uh, so uh, hopefully I can do an uh, even better season now. And it was your knee that was injured? Yeah. Okay. Who, who, did you, uh, who were your favorite players to model your game after growing up? Uh, I wouldn't say I have a specific uh, player. Um, I mean, I have watched uh, all the superstars in NHL, uh, like Crosby. Uh, Nicholas Beckstrom or so, uh, and I think I have taken small part parts from uh, each of them. Do you know uh, Lucas Raymond pretty well? I think you guys are in the same organization. Yeah, I know him, of course. Thanks. Do you like him? Our next question will be from Ted Colpin with the Detroit News. You heard a lot of congratulations, first off. Just being, just as far as the injury goes, how tough was it mentally to come back from something like that? Was it a pretty difficult thing? Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, of course, it was uh, really tough to to know that you're going to miss a whole season uh, of hockey, uh, yeah, and especially when you have moved to a new club and new new town. Uh, so uh, it was uh, it was it, it was really tough, uh, especially in the beginning. Uh, but after like six months or seven, uh, when I went out again, uh, you can say I saw the light in the in the darkness. Do you feel like you're all the way back now? Yeah, uh, as I said, I this summer I, summer I could. Uh, I could train really well, uh, did everything uh, off ice, and uh, feel much uh, much stronger now than uh, last season. Hey, how comfortable is it coming to the Wings organization, given the fact they do have so many Swedish players? And how many, I mean, do you know any of the Swedish kids that the Wings have drafted over the last couple of years? Uh, I mean, I know the, uh, all the Swedish players uh, who is uh, really big there. Uh, I mean, Sutterberg, uh, Lidstrom. Uh, so uh, when I know that uh, a lot of uh, good uh, Swedish uh, players have uh, developed there, uh, it's really comfortable for me to know that. And uh, and I always know that uh, Detroit Red Wings is a good organization. Thanks, Theodore. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, we'll do one more question for Theodore from Bob Wanowski of the Detroit News. Hey, Theodore, when you said that you were a little bit shocked with the pick when the Wings took you, were you shocked by where you went or by who took you? Uh, I don't really know. Uh, I mean, I was just shocked they mentioned my name. Uh, I don't think I was the, so surprised by 
uh, where I went or uh, which team that uh, picked me. Uh, I just think that uh, when you when they call your name on TV uh, in a NHL draft, you're very surprised or shocked, even if you know where you are going. Thank you. All right, that's all the time we have with Theodore. Uh, we're going to put everyone back into the waiting room, so we should have uh, the next 